Welcome back, everyone. We are at the Milwaukee County Zoo for Zufari, Sunset Zufari, and there's a concert series going on. We're trying to get the wandering peacock. One of my favorite things about the zoo, they just get to roam around. It's back here uh, in the Flamingo Patio where tonight's concert will be from 6 to 9. It's called the Flamingo Patio, but of course the peacock has to upstage it, of course. Um, from 6 to 9 tonight, this is every Wednesday through July, Ten fifty for adults, $8 for kids and parkings included. And it's one of the few nights out of the year you get to actually roam around the zoo towards dusk. A la carte's the other one. So come on down, have some fun. Hey, yesterday at this time, we were tracking some big time storms uh, to the south of us that decided to drift northward and created flash flooding across Milwaukee County and parts of Waukesha County. New Berlin, almost three inches of rain. Greendale had uh, about 2.7. Uh, Cudahy had over two inches of rain. Johnson Creek, about an inch and a half. Uh, Whitefish Bay, a half inch. And so there was some very heavy rain in a short period of time. Anywhere you see in the green shading from south side Milwaukee through most of Waukesha, that is two to three inches of rain in about an hour and a half. That area down by Janesville, they picked up over five inches of rain in a couple of hours and had some nasty flash flooding down there as well. All right, so around the area for this evening, uh, we're looking at uh, uh, quiet conditions. We did have a chance for rain in the forecast. That is staying south of us for the evening, which is good. Uh, 73 today, I'll take that any day, especially compared to a year ago today when it was 94 and very steamy. Since midnight, we've had about a tenth of an inch uh, of precipitation here in Milwaukee. 70 in Port, 72 Racine. It's 81 in Whitewater, so you get away from that lake breeze. It does warm up a little bit. All in all, it's been a great day. The dew points have dropped. They were in the 70s yesterday. We're in the 60s today, so still a little dampness in the air, and that will help provide a little bit of patchy fog uh, as we get into the overnight hours. But the dew points will continue to be in the 60s for tomorrow, and then the cold front comes through and will dry things out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, not just with the humidity levels, but also uh, for the rain chances as well. Temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Uh, overnight tonight, still a little damp in the air. Those might want to keep the AC on. And uh, during the day tomorrow, uh, you're looking for a high temperature of around 78. And that'll be around the noon hour. It's going to be mostly cloudy during the day. A light breeze off the lake and the chance of rain is looking to be less than 20%. Summerfest is back tomorrow. I'll be out there uh, and it will be comfortable along the lakefront with that southeast breeze. High of 74 around the noon hour when the gates open, lower 70s in the evening. And once again, just that slight chance for a shower. The seven day forecast, 73 on Friday, low humidity and windy conditions. Saturday, 75, that's a great looking day. 80 on Sunday and then the humidity and thunderstorms roll back in here for Monday and Tuesday. Hey, we have another peacock just roaming around the grounds here at Milwaukee County Zoo. Beautiful NBC right there. <laughs> we'll be back.